All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to God's Country. This is Brian Nips, and I got off work just a little bit ago, mowed two acres of grass, and so I got a little time to run down here at the river. My wife come with me. She didn't want to fish. She wanted to sit there and read a book. So I got about an hour to kill, and I'm going to try to get on a smallmouth or walleye or something like that. And uh, today I got a, uh, see if you can tell, Mr. Twister. I'm going to try it and see if I can get some hits on it. The, the cold front to come in the other day has uh, definitely cooled the water down. It may have hurt the bite a little bit, but we're going to see if we can get on some. So you stay with me and we'll see what we can oh, do. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Man, that drag is singing. I'm gonna tighten it up. I don't know what I got on there. When you fish over here at the locks, you have no idea what's gonna bite. Oh, come on. I can tell you this much, whatever it is, it's a fighter. Come on. I want to get, at least get it in, see what it is in case it gets off. Man, it's a fighter. Look at that pole. Guys, I don't know what's on there. It might be an old catfish, for all I know. But I can tell you this much. It does not want to come close to this pipe. That would be an old carp. Hard to tell what it is. Come out in the water. Come on. Hard. Oh, <laughs> Down the fish. I can see what happened. I was wondering why a carp would hit a Mr. Twister, and he didn't hit a Mr. Twister. When I was rolling that Mr. Twister in, I bumped it up against that carp and foul hooked it. Huh. Obviously, I wasn't trying to do that. If I can get him in, I'll let him go. I was hoping a smallmouth would hit it. I say, when you're down here, you don't know what you're going to do. Big one, ain't it? Right. Buddy, if you'll come in, I'll get that hook out of you. 
and you can go back to doing whatever it is you were doing. Huh. I guess I bounced that along the bottom there and hit it in the back. It felt like a bite. Wouldn't that have been nice if that was a smallmouth? There we go. Off he goes. He's wore out. Get off there. See if I can get him off that rock. There he goes. Well, Kind of disappointed, thought it was a smallmouth, hoping it was a smallmouth or a walleye. It was a carp. But uh, like I say, you never know what you'll get down here. But hey, it was fun reeling it in. Been a long time since I've reeled a fish that big in, so had a good time reeling it in. We'll see what we can do next time.